that's what I've never seen before. <laughs> wow. Um, so I've been looking at something called physical animation, which basically involves taking um, a regular animation blueprint in Unreal Engine, where you've got idle animation, walk animation, run animation, jump animation, um, but blending those with basically physics collision, where it, um, within restraint, allows you to use the collision bodies you set up um, to modify animations. So I've got, this is a silly example I built from a tutorial, which is, um, even this is a little bit overdone, you can tell the feet are, are really wonky, but it means if you do things like run into walls, you get a much more natural reaction. You can you can bump into stuff. It kind of it works a little better. Ideally, if you did something like this, um, everything <laughs> works a little better. You don't go through things. Um, your character can interact with objects in a much more realistic way, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, it's really hard to fine tune it, and I imagine you'd have to do things like have um, some different parameters for the lower body versus upper body. Like, um, I like how his hands hang out up here, but obviously having his legs <laughs> glitch through everything is a little weird. Um, right now you can tell he's got this weird wide stance, and that's part of the physical animation, um, as is um, jumping into walls and whatnot. Um, I, can, I can show you actually. So we go into his, this physics asset here, and um, this is just the default Unreal Engine mannequin asset. We've got the default collision capsule set up um, so that when you do something like ragdoll, it falls to the ground very nicely. Now, you might have noticed that that was not very nice. <laughs> it's not quite what you expect from a ragdoll because it's running physical animation where it has constraints and it tries to keep these muscles, the collision capsules, in their place with, within the limits of a certain force. So um, I can change what's called the animation profile to none, which means he has no physical animation attached. And now when I simulate, he just ragdolls to the floor. I can throw him around. But interestingly, you can do this physical animation profile and, and edit it down here. Um, you've got several parameters to edit. Um, strength of uh, certain parameters, position, velocity, um, rotation, uh, maximum forces it can apply. Local simulation means well, exactly what it sounds like, um, whether it's using um, global or, or local space. If I set it to local, well, things are going to get a little bit uh, crazy when I hit play. This is um, getting out of bed in the morning simulator. Um, it looks a little something like this. Ooh. So um, you can use this <laughs> for some really wacky physics-based animation. Um, you might want to do something like not have his legs flap around everywhere or, or give his upper body a little stiffness so he doesn't slouch over like this, but um, I think this is a really interesting way to have much more <laughs> um, sort of dynamic collisions with objects. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and you can tweak these parameters to be a little more reasonable. Like if I set this down to 100, tick off local, local space, um, we get a more overdone animation. You can tell his legs are flopping about quite a bit. Um, and we get his feet a little bit glitchier because the desire for them to be flat is not as strong. And so when they land like this, it doesn't quite work so well. But theoretically, hanging out like this 
looks a little nicer because it interacts with the, the complex geometry of the scene. I think maybe setting all of these down. Oh, those are where the, the strengths, not the... Uh, oh, I am a lovely ballerina. Whee! Yeah, this is pretty goofy. But it could make for some fun effects. One more thing. Kind of crank all of these up. Oh, there. Yeah, that didn't help. I think it was the forces. Now we're getting motion blur, which I need to turn off. But So, adjusting this profile, um, adjusting which capsules are affected by physical animation, I think for a third-person sort of game, or any game where characters, anything with an animation interacts with scenery, I think it can make for really dynamic interactions. That was not very dynamic. <laughs> 